guys, Lisa here from Battle of the Bands Australia. I'm joined here today by Sydney rock band Bonnie Reid. Hello and welcome. Hi. 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 Thanks so much for joining me today. So you guys are a great example of an Aussie rock band that's been performing regularly around Sydney and you've gained a lot of notoriety and you've got a really strong fan base. So tell us, how long have the four of you been performing together? Take it away, Hawk. <laughs> We've been playing together in this uh, particular lineup for about 18 months, two years, but the band's actually been together for about six years now. Okay, so. cool. And how did the four of you meet? Ooh, a uh, vast <laughs> combination. Um, Kat and I have been in the band and with the band and started the band six years ago. Um, so for us personally, it's been a, a six year haul for us. We met Astrid, gosh, a couple what? Of years ago. A couple of years ago. Um, and Jeremiah, or Jeremy, I should say, has been with us for about a year. Uh, November? Last year, so yeah, about yeah, about coming out to his year. first anniversary is this yeah. lineup. So. Okay, so Jeremy is the newest member. I He's the, the baby. baby. As always, <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about crowdfunding. Congratulations on your recent success in raising money through crowdfunding. How do you plan on using the funds? Um, we have an awesome opportunity to uh, record with uh, a producer uh, called Mark Opitz down in uh, Melbourne at his recording studio, 30 mil. And um, uh, yeah, that's basically what we funded, um, we did the crowdfunding for so that we could afford to go down and do that recording. So it's great. We're all stoked and very excited. Yeah, fantastic. So do you think having a strong fan base is really important when you launch a crowdfunding campaign, particularly for music projects? Absolutely. Yeah. That's yeah. what made you guys successful. It was, yeah. uh, we had about 70, between 70 and 80 supporters all up for the $5,000 that we raised and the people that supported us were not people that we expected. Um, okay. It was amazing. We had support from all around the world, even if it was just a dollar here or a dollar there. Um, it was extremely overwhelming, but very, very humbling at the same very, time. Yeah. Because like Astrid was saying, like the, you have such a support base that essentially this kind of scenario you didn't actually or you you wouldn't realize that you had yeah mm -hmm. and, and sure. you know until something like this like not that we don't appreciate any of it but it just it really goes to show the the honesty and you know how genuine people are about supporting live music and, and bands and artists and and just our kind of industry full stop yeah that's great yeah it's very overwhelming so Battle of the Bands Australia is a new music competition that's being created to provide lots of opportunities specifically to unsigned Aussie bands. We've created this because we're so passionate about providing those opportunities to Aussie bands and maybe even giving them their next big break. Bonnie Reid will be headlining the first live finals in Sydney, which I can't wait to see guys. So if you could give some advice to bands just starting out, what would you say to them in terms of how they can connect to their fans and just get their music out there? Smash it. So, yeah. <laughs> and I would, don't hold anything back yeah. um, at all. You have, yeah. to, you have to go and be in the community. You have to go out there and talk to people and just be present at heaps of gigs and get a really good social media presence going. Yeah. Like yeah. You have to just be all over Facebook, Twitter, get a website going, Reverb Nation, YouTube channel, all that kind yeah. of stuff. And yeah. then you'll just... Yeah, you'll just find heaps of fans yeah. from completely different avenues, but yeah. um, the support comes through those avenues. Yeah. And yeah. having that two-way conversation on social media as well. Absolutely. 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 People, people want to talk to you. Yeah, like, yeah, they, exactly. they want to talk to musicians. They think yeah. you're cool. It's the way of the world at the moment. Like yeah. that's that's how you meet people. That's how you stay with people. It's how yeah. you converse with people. Like it's yeah. the backbone of it. Essentially, as a band as well. Yeah, as a band, you really got to embrace that these days. Otherwise, nothing will happen to you. Your kind of mission statement on your website is "In Rock We Trust." <laughs> <laughs> Love it. That's gold. <laughs> Gone us this far. Sure. <laughs> So I'm really excited. We're going to get you on stage performing live for us today. What song have you chosen to perform? What is the name of this song? We, I think we, there's <laughs> oh about three Lord. going on. Uh, this song one. has essentially been christened Hey Hey. 
<laughs> it will appear in parentheses. It will. <laughs> all the songs Whatever have. Yeah. Is cool. The one thing that we as a band I must just like keyhole into is that we have a, a tendency to name them on stage as we're writing them, and they just never change. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. Even when yeah. we come up with a serious name for it, it doesn't tend to stick. It doesn't stick. No, yeah. no. It's had several <laughs> names, but this is a new song that we've just recorded. It's like okay. a bonus track that we're going to release um, next week, basically. So, okay, so that's um, good timing. Yeah, so it's different. being released just different. before we go down different. to Melbourne. And okay. Different. 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 I think we just different. decided it's called different. Okay. Different. Just now, you see it right here. Different. <laughs> different. 